Wow, TypeScript is still getting better. I know it's crazy to think something that great is continuing to improve. Well, yeah, it is. TypeScript 4.9 just dropped, I know. Dot update, not that big a deal, right? Wrong. There's two huge changes and a bunch of other really useful stuff in this release. So stay tuned. We have some really cool stuff to talk about today. Imagine there's like my little intro thing going right there. TypeScript 4.9. What happened and what's so cool? Thing one is a feature that I'm really excited about, the satisfies operator. What is satisfies? I was already pretty satisfied with TypeScript. This is a great example somebody just linked from Twitter. We have a uh, Marsingata91 made this example. Nice and simple. Let's say you have lorem where things can be strings or numbers. And we know in this case that it's a string, but we or made the type hello world. We have now lost access to the like string functions. We know this is a string because it's right there, but we have made the type bigger. By doing the as binding, we actually expand the types and we don't want to expand the types. We want to satisfy the types. We want to know that what we wrote here is correct within this definition. As doesn't confirm that we work within Hello World standards. As overrides what we put here with Hello World's type standard. So when we do this, we lose the safety that we know is true because we know this is a string, but we told TypeScript to ignore that fact when we do that. When we write satisfies though, we're not tr like expanding the types, uh, the type definition. We are confirming that what we have here works against that type definition. So we can still use the string functions because we confirmed that this bigger thing, that these additional types that this could be are honored, but this actual thing we have is more strict. So when you have a greater type and you wanna make sure that the subtype is correct, but also have access to the stricter typing internally, satisfies is a super useful keyword and will allow us to validate things as type safe without giving up type safety in the process, which is a weird thing to say, but it is kind of what we've been doing with as for a long time now. So there you go. Satisfies, it's an awesome new feature and you should be really excited for it. The other big thing, so I said there was two, the performance improvements. Some of the performance improvements that the TypeScript team has been working on made it into this release. There are many more exciting ones coming in the near future, specifically TypeScript version five, will overhaul the way the packages are managed internally, which should result in 30% plus performance improvements. But until then, <laughs> we're still getting some of those things down the wire. For each child and visited children will result in our compiled outputs and checking code over and over again in the, the language server to be a decent bit faster. We should have a much better experience in our editors and that will continue improving. For a while, I was concerned the TypeScript team didn't care enough about TypeScript server performance because to be frank, TypeScript server performance doesn't affect your users. It affects your experience in your editor and the speed that your code compiles and gets checked in CI. So it's not the thing that you need to be like worried forever about. But these like percent plus improvements are massive because they significantly increase how big your code base can get before your TypeScript server starts crashing or your VS code experience starts to take a hit. And it's awesome that the team is focused again on really making these performance wins happen. There's a bunch of other nice changes in this release. I'm not as familiar with a lot of these. Oh, uh, file watching now uses file system exports. This is huge for if you have type checking running in the background to check when you make file changes. This will now be much faster and use less CPU when you're making those changes. Oh, removed unused imports and sort imports are now built in to VS Code and the TypeScript editor plugin. That's really nice. That's really nice that they're separate. Cool stuff. Great release. I'm hyped. Super cool to see Satisfy sneak in. Hyped to see some performance improvements making it in as well. TypeScript version 5 is targeting a March release, and that's when we're going to start to see the massive performance wins. Get hyped. Hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video if you can. Likes are free. Helps us out a ton. Should be a new video popping up in the corner over here for you to watch after. That one's being recommended specifically to you, so YouTube thinks that you're going to like it for some reason. So be sure to check that out. So let me know what you think about my hair in the comments. I think it looks good. You probably do too. Thank you all as always. See you later.